What's happening, everybody? Welcome to another P2's by No Addiction. I love my reporter voice. <laughs> Anyways, today we have the Molly by Hub Toys, and she is in the Harley Quinn disguise. Pretty cool. If you don't know Molly, then you probably don't know Kenny, and Kenny has been making Molly for a long time now, I think over a decade. She's seen many costumes, many different representations, and it's pretty cool to see him working with Hot Toys, who has a DC license, so then he can do licensed stuff. So Molly here comes in four different colorways. She has two that are metallic, they look fantastic in the pictures, and then you got the regular one, and then you got this one, which is surprisingly pretty freaking awesome. I love the light colors. Usually, when I have in my collection, be it vinyl, statues, whatever the hell I have, it's just like, uh, you know, oranges, bam, freaking yellow hair, I got so much Dragon Ball, it's just bam, crazy. This is nice and light. I love the color palette. I love the cube, I don't understand the cube, but I love the cube. The more surface area you have for the artist to work on, I am down with that. And it looks like every single character that he's doing in this line is gonna have a cube. The next one being Wonder Woman, she is actually standing on top of the cube, which is pretty cool. Again, gives it more height, which to me is fantastic. I like big action figures, big vinyl. You know, if I'm getting a toy and it's big, I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> that can still be taken out of context. Bam! So the first thing you're gonna realize if you don't know Molly is that she has a, essentially three features that are the same no matter where she's at. No matter what she's wearing, no matter what skill she's in, doesn't matter. She always has her puckered up lips, she has those big eyes, and then she has those line around the eyes, which I don't really know what they are, but every single Molly has one. I also love the fact that this Harley Quinn has joints, making it look like a marionette. Because at the beginning, at the very least, she was a puppet of sorts of the Joker. The Joker would say jump, she would jump. So she was essentially a uh, Joker's, uh, you know what I'm saying? Marionette in uh, simple terms. <laughs> so I think it's really cool that he added that. I don't know if that was his train of thought behind it, but. To me, that's what I'm getting from it. She comes with one accessory, which is the mallet uh, that has a happy face on it, which is freaking awesome. Uh, it's a really, really hard mallet. <laughs> yeah. You can definitely do some damage with this thing, so be careful. And she measures about nine inches tall, so with the cube. All in all, a really awesome representation of Molly. I'm excited to finally own a Molly. I love Kenny, I love his work. It's, Jesus Christ, I've known about Kenny for what, 11 years now and I don't own anything? I'm a bit, I'm the biggest poser. And now, I'm not, man. I love you, you're the best. I will kiss you in the mouth, but you're too young. <laughs> I don't wanna get in trouble. So if you are in the fence, dudes, if you love Molly, DC, vinyls, Definitely take a look, especially the, uh, the other colorways, because they're pretty dope. You can get one, two, three, four, get them all, bam, who knows, don't care. Do you, my friends, do you. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and um, I will see you later.